Well, you know, I think we had to grind it out against a very good McNeese team. Uh, McNeese came to play with no doubt from the first whistle. They put us on our heels early, and we, we did a good job responding throughout the match. All right. You have a, a freshman taking a penalty kick in a tournament. Does that get your heart rate up? How did you feel during that? You know, not really. I've been coaching now 22 years at the college level. And I've, I've seen a lot of things in my time, and what you do is you just sit back, you put your faith in them, and sometimes you're rewarded, sometimes it goes the other way. Coach, you turn around and play again in less than 24 hours against a Lamar team that handed you your last loss. How are, how are you, your coaching staff, and team prepared for this? You know, I think we're going to hopefully be ready to go. They understand what's on the line, what's at stake here. It's an opportunity to get back to the final and play whoever wins the other side of the bracket for a chance at the NCAA tournament. It's always nice, you know, to come onto another home, uh, another team's home field and, you know, take a game to them and give it our best. So it's nice, you know, and we don't always have um, as many fans as we do at home, but it's nice for the fans that do come, you know, put on a good show and bring our best effort. Tell us about that goal that you scored with less than 10 seconds to go. It looks like you just got wide open and put it past the goalie. How did that happen? Uh, I was saw that the def the defender on that side was letting the ball go through, so I was hoping, you know, I could beat the defender that was blocking me between the ball, and I took a touch and placed it, and I'm glad that sealed the game for us. So, you know, it's always nice to win a game on a PK, but it's nicer to seal it, you know, and make sure it wasn't just a PK. Most definitely. Um, last question for you. you got to turn around and play again tomorrow night at 7.30. How, how are you mentally and physically going to prepare for the quick turnaround? We are beyond prepared for this game. Uh, Lamar took a game from us uh, in the regular season and we're ready to give it right back to them and be on our best game. And it wasn't our best performance tonight, but, you know, we got through and we're ready to challenge Lamar and hopefully get to the finals. You haven't let up a goal in the last five games. What's What's been the key to your success? Um, the 10 other players who sit in front of me and the like 14 that sit on the bench. You know, it's not just me who keeps it. I'm just the last line of defense, but my team's the one who puts the effort in and prevents a lot of the shots actually happening. So I think I'm thankful for them. You know, without them, you know, it'd just be murder. <laughs> um, we, you, we, saw, we know that uh, Lamar was the last team to beat you guys. What have you guys done or what are you going to do differently this time to prevent a uh, 1-0 loss, would you say? Well, Lamar got fairly lucky because, you know, it was like we were expecting a cross and it just happened to hit the upper, you know, corner of the ball um, or the goal and it just bounced right in. So we were just kind of all, like, thrown of, like, how that happened. But we're going to take it to him. We're going to – we're ready. We're pumped up. Like, that we have the momentum. You know, Lamar hasn't played yet. I mean, they had extra rest, but we have the the fire up, ready to go at them. So. And uh, I asked her the same question. What do you, What is it going to be like to play? First of all, essentially a road game in a tournament, and then turn around and play again tomorrow night. Well, I, you know, whenever I step on a soccer field, I think that's my turf. Mm -hmm. So you know, my our coach, you know, he's like, even though it's not our field, we take we take control of it. This is our like any any soccer field is our home. You know, because it's the same. Same place you play soccer, and it's like nothing really changes except the size and the location. But when we step on this field, it's our field. It's no one else's. You know, it's nice to have a six-foot-tall athlete in goal. <laughs> when I recruited her six years ago, I saw this young lady jump almost out of the house, and I was like, you know, I think she might be pretty good. So we're fortunate to have her commit to us, and the rest is history at this point. Let's, let's hope that she can continue to write some history.